Hello, my name is Yutaro, and now I'm going to present about same-sex production, which is my favorite topic. And these days, issues of LGBT are one of the most important topics of the world. And in this movement, LGBT people have wanted their own children, as same as straight couples have, and they have been trying to achieve that goal so far. So, there are two choices to have their own children for LGBT people. And first one is called adoption. This is a method of receiving the babies or children from the from parents who is give up to raise their children or babies. A uh, second one is called sperm or egg donation. Uh, this is a method of receiving sperm or egg from the donor to sperm uh, to fertilize. <coughs> These two ways are typical ways to have their own children for LGBT couples. However, Children cannot inherit both parental DNA in these ways. However, thanks to today's technology, same sex reduction will be possible to do with IPS cells. Look at this chart. So, thanks to same sex reduction, you can create sperm or egg with your IPS cells and um, you can let original sperm or egg and um, graded one fertilize and you can have uh, babies who inherit both parental DNA in this way. In my thesis statement is um, same-sex production uh, should be legalized all over the world um, and they, uh, the reason why same-sex production using IPS should be legalized are <coughs> first one is uh, to improve LGBT rights and second one is to avoid problems of sperm or egg donation and the last one is to avoid denial of legitimacy. So now let me explain the first one, the first reason. So some right wing people or politicians <coughs> think that um, mar uh, LGBT marriage or LGBT activity uh, should be prohibited because marriage. Um, uh, is tended to be uh, associated with reproduction. However, same-sex reduction will let LGBT people be able to have their own children by yourself. So, um, so same-sex reduction use, uh, using IPS cells uh, will be a good step to promote LGBT marriage and to improve LGBT rights. And the second reason is why I support um, same-sex same production using IPS cells is it can avoid problems of sperm or egg donation. So, um, judging by donors' IQ, race, background, and so on, um, some sperm or egg uh, get popular and as a result, <coughs> um, many parents um, started to want them and um, it will be possible that um, a lot of biological brothers or sisters um, will be all over the world. And also, <coughs> Parents, uh, 
parents will pay for sperm or egg with a lot of money. And also, um, egg, egg, egg donors uh, will be forced to um, do very hard work. Um, this is because uh, egg donors need to take a lot of hormonal drugs to let them release more eggs than usual. So, um, same sex however, same sex production using IPS cells can avoid them. Last reason, uh, the third reason um, is to avoid denial of legitimacy. So, legitimacy uh, is important for children's right and parents' uh, custody. Um, however, um, uh, there was a happening that uh, a Japanese man was not acknowledged as his baby's lawful father in Japan in uh, 2012. Uh, this is because he is transgender and it was obvious that he was not the baby's biological father. Um, however, uh, same-sex production using IPS cells enables to have biological children. So, um, um, so it can avoid denial of legitimacy by the government. So in, in conclusion, um, again, same-sex production should be legalized due to improve LGBT rights, avoid problems of sperm or egg donation, and avoid denial of legitimacy. Um, these are references. So thank you for listening.